What's up guys, welcome to King's RC and after a long wait for about a month and a half I finally got my upgrade chassis here um, I bought this from AliExpress and this cost me about uh, $60 Australian and this is a carbon fiber ch chassis um, made to fit my RMX 2.0 and this was my ready to run and I've done a few upgrades on this bad boy and if you haven't seen it check out my channel it's now running a, uh, a Toyota MR2 body uh, made by ABC Hobbies which um, pretty much this is going to be the last MR2 body I'll ever, I'll ever be able to buy got some carbon fiber uh, sticker uh, sheet here and um, pretty much to hide the stuffed up paint job I had in there but yeah you'll never see that anyways um, if you're building a body and you mess it up don't give up on it just cover up with stickers <laughs> so guys uh, basically um, carbon fiber chassis upgrade and I'm gonna show you how to install it and also the reason why I bought this is basically just to bling up the car um, I don't really do any competition drifting and stuff like that so um, for me it's just I'm just doing it for looks and yeah but if you are then you're probably gonna benefit you know losing a bit of weight and the stiffness um, installing this chassis and that will probably give you a bit of performance um, upgrade as well all right let's get into it and get to the installation all right guys so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the center brace here and remove the front and install that to the main chassis so we're going to have to undo uh, the screws here and the side here as well sorry not that one this one here and that should just pull out Take this off. And it should just pull out just like that. And when you put this aside, keep them together so you know which screws goes where. So you can see already the amount of flex you got with the plastic. The carbon is a lot stiffer. Now we're going to take out the front and the servo here and also my gyro that's just stuck on with double sided tape so just got to twist that out. Like that, unplug all your electronics and what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to keep it all in sections so it's going to be a lot easier to just take it take it off and transfer it to the main, to the carbon chassis so we'll work on the front take off all these screws here So guys, I've just placed the screws, um, just how I took them off. So first one's here, second, third, fourth, and fifth. So this should just pull out just like that. And you will have these spaces that came from the front there, just dropped off. Just wanna make sure you put that in the front. And the back doesn't have one, so the servo there, just want to pop that out, just like that, and we now have the front section off. Now to install it onto the chassis, so this is the top and that's the bottom, we will screw this part in first. If you're using a drill, you want to set it to the lowest torque, that way you don't strip your thread and you just wanna get it in there and tighten it up by hand later. Now 
Now the first slot is this piece. So we're basically going the same way we're taking it off. Now guys, you don't want to tighten this all the way up yet because you will need to insert the spacer that goes in here to raise this up. And you want to install the second one of these thingies here, which holds the um, the lower arms. It just looks a bit tricky because I'm filming and doing this at the same time, so. Now we've gone the first screw, the second screw's there, and the third lot of screws here. So we've used the first lot of screws, this is the second, and then now this will be the third lot. Now to install the second lot of screws, so we've pretty much counted this, this line of screw, this line, this line, this line, and then this line. I didn't count the front bumper bit there because it's a whole separate part. So there guys, that's the front done. Now we will transfer the servo over. Just two screws. And we just pop the servo arm back in. Just like that. Screw it in the chassis. Next up is the battery mounts so we're literally just going from the front to back now guys basically if you're running the long batteries the standard battery size you're gonna mount it in these holes, and if you're running shorty batteries, you're going to mount it into these holes here. One thing I didn't take note is which side was which, but <laughs> it doesn't really matter. It's just um, whether you got your um, antenna um, mount on this side or that side. But either way, these will work whichever way you want to mount it, so. All right guys, so basically halfway there on the main chassis here. And yeah, so far every hole is lined up and it's fitting perfectly. So now we gotta Install the rear and same thing we're going to start from the front to the back so we don't get the screws mixed up. So this one's got the MB arms upgrade and if you don't have that then you won't have this screw and because I've installed the MB arms um, it's got like a ball there that I've got to hold still. So the best way to do this guys is basically um, we need to take off the, this part here 
on the knuckle before we can uh, take that screw out. So then that'll be all empty there for us to hold it with the uh, pliers or a spanner or something. Let's get to this. We're going to install this part at the back here. And this part I'm going to place on the side with the screws that comes with it. So I'm going to install from the back towards the front. And my screws there are pretty much the back to the front. Remember not to screw it in straight away because you need to slip this in. So now we're just going to screw the diff um, case part onto the chassis so it holds it down for us. So guys, with this part here, I didn't think it through. We should have screwed this one in here um, first before that one, because it's gonna make it difficult to slide this in. But we'll manage, it's just that it would have been easier the other way. <laughs> oh well, my mistake is your lesson. Now this has to slip between. So now we need to take this off. Shouldn't be too, too hard to install with it. Cause I did install this with everything installed in the chassis already. All right guys, so that's the um, main chassis installed. That took about half an hour. <laughs> Could have been. Almost forgot. There's two more screws here. It goes into this part. So guys, that's the main chassis installed. And yeah, it's pretty quick. About 20, 25 minutes to do it. Um, yeah, it's good fun. And now to install the rest of these. So you have the main uh, chassis brace here for the center, the shock towers here. And this will go where the bumper is right there. So it literally comes with everything. So start with the chassis brace. And you also got all these little washers and nuts here. And 
we're gonna need to get this piece so guys I think these washers will go to the screw so that way it doesn't damage the carbon fiber here So we're going to do these screws here and these screws and for the center I won't be reusing these I'm going to use the included um, uh, brace parts here that goes in there all right guys so now we've got to use these nuts to hold that in place we're going to need to use a bit of Loctite just in case, always um, pays to be sure with Loctite. All right guys, so that part is done. Now I just need to steal some screws from this part here so I can mount these uh, center braces. I might put one right in the end here right at the end of this uh, slot here Oop. there it is guys chassis brace done that's looking pretty damn cool already <laughs> Now I just got to do the shock towers. So this one is for the front. And it, this one here is for the rear. So we'll work on the front first. Just two screws to get that bumper brace off. And we're going to have to remove the magnet mount. Look at that guys, even that fits perfect. Now to remove the front, pretty easy. Two screws should just pop off now to remove the shocks. So, guys, the holes literally line up exactly the same as the stock pieces. So, I'm just using these little uh, washers here to where the screw goes onto the um, carbon fiber. That way um, it doesn't damage it when it's spinning. There is the front complete. And as for the back, there's a little bit more work to do on the back guys. We gotta take off this mount, uh, magnet mount, and yeah, we got to get right underneath near the ESC there. So I'll start with that. So 
So we need to remove the ESC because I've got this um, ESC mounted in the back. We need to actually remove um, the ESC so I can get to the two screws that's um, screwed the shock tower in. And yeah, I don't really want to unstick the ESC so just undo the screw here. Might need to take the wheel off. So guys, I've been recording most of this, um, most of the process here since I started and right now it's, I'm up to 51 minutes. <laughs> Which is not too bad. Could probably get this done quicker if I, if I wasn't filming, but yeah, if you guys are doing this upgrade, you'll get it done quicker than I am. All right, so. That screw. And that screw at the back, right there. Then this the ESC should just pop off. So this is um uh, MST part here, guys. Um, that part there for the rear ESC mount. Keep that exactly the same. <laughs> so again, the rear shock tower matches up exactly the same. flip this back to exactly how it came off or how we had it in the first place so it's gonna go in there like that There it is guys, all done. I just need to uh, uh, put all my electronics back. So, um, and that was a pretty fun build. For 60 bucks, um, yeah, this took me about an hour to do and totally worth it. Kept me busy for an hour. <laughs> but now you're gonna appreciate the looks of your RMX 2.0. Look how much more stiffer that is. You can't even barely bend it. Stiff chassis is good for a drifter. Also, less weight. Now it's time to get this bad boy out again and um, take it for a run. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully it's helped you out. Um, thanks so much for watching and see you guys in the next one.